Good morning, friends. So, I've been trying to get live on Facebook now for like two days. They've been such a pain in the booty, so hopefully this goes off without a hitch. For some reason, it like my little live option just like disappeared. It was very weird. Um, so when you come on, say hello, let me know where you're watching from. I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys my shopping link right here in the comments. But I wanted to make sure to come on here and go live the last couple days of this month because um, the deal is like ending soon, which if you're unfamiliar with what I'm talking about, our whole website's 15% off, which is insane. They never do that. They usually have like a bundle or a this or a that. Um, oh, good. I'm so glad you guys can see me clearly. Like I was saying right before a lot of you guys popped on, I've been having like the hardest time with Facebook like stresses me out when I can't like go live with you guys. Um, but happy Saturday. We've been, it's been a crazy week in our home, <laughs> especially with like school about to start too and stuff, but we're here. And my sister is getting married in this coming year. And she's been sending me these makeup looks, um, like crazy. And she sent me this one um oh nice ask candida that's not far from us um she sent me this one i was like "Ooh, that's really pretty and it's kind of like this cut crease look i'm gonna try it i don't know if i can do it perfectly but i think i can i don't know i i'm gonna try it i'm really excited about it because cut cut creases are so so pretty it's basically like where you have like a dramatic transition between colors on your eyes um it's really pretty especially for like hooded eyes because your eyes naturally do that anyway so it's almost like every eyeshadow color you wear is a cut crease. <laughs> so this would be a really fun one. Um, I think it's a little bit more dolled up. So brides, bridal shower, baby shower, photos, family photos, holidays, things like that. But hello guys. So if you're just now tuning in, my whole website is 15% off. All the concealer, all the foundation, all the lipsticks, all the mascaras, everything is 15% off minus like the brand new mad magnetic lashes, which are already on sale in the August special. And the foundation is 25% off. So this is 25% off. Everything else is 15. Oh no, stay safe, Vicky. Thank you so much for sharing, Christina. That means so much to me. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Tanya. Hi, Kim. Hi, Goldie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Diana from Austria. So cool. Hi, Monica. Who else is here? Hi, Crystal. Hi, Jane. Hi, Monica. Arkansas. Cool. Hi, Bonnie. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to use the stick foundation in today's uh, makeup look. I love this coverage, especially when I just like want... Uh, for this, I like just want to get to my... Um, eyes so I'm like oh, what foundation can I just throw on stick foundation so we're gonna go ahead and just throw our hair up really fast I'm gonna do a little hair tutorial on Instagram after this so make sure you follow me over there my Instagram if you don't follow me there is right here I actually just posted a super cute try on from the pink fox boutique um, I'm gonna be live with her on Facebook tomorrow but if you want to see a preview of the pieces make sure to go to my Instagram if you guys are familiar with my try-ons you know things sell out so fast speaking of which my necklace from Harper and Pine which is this one um, they just restocked so um, I have that live or that uh, try-on still saved I believe but just message me I'll give you the link Hello. Hi guys. Okay. So we'll get started on my skin already. I have on two products, which are super important. I have on my setting spray and I have on my mattifying face primer. So when I do my makeup, I always do these two products. So I'll spray my whole face with a setting spray, apply my mattifying face primer, spray with my setting spray. So setting spray, primer, setting spray is the coverage that we want to do. Again, super duper important because it's going to keep our makeup in place. It's going to help to prevent our makeup from going into our pores. Um, and it's going to help to prevent any fine lines from showing up. Also is going to help to hold on to your makeup. I always compare it to when you're painting a wall. You don't just like go in with the paint, right? You prime the wall first, most people do, and then you paint. And the reason you do that is so the primer is going to create an even surface. It's also going to allow your paint to look what? More even, brighter, better, same exact idea with makeup. So priming is important. It's a crime not to prime. 
So now we're going to go in with a stick foundation. I'm going to use it in the shade Taffeta, which is like my summer shade. And look at, watch, look at this. Goodbye blemishes. You guys, so easy. A caveman could do it. All right, so now we're going to go in with a blending bud now. And this is my favorite way to apply it. So this is going to compress the makeup down in a place just like this. This is going to be really important because, like I said, it's going to compress the makeup down so it's not going to accentuate your fine lines, creases, and pores. And it's going to make everything look super duper smooth. Always blend down the neck. I was actually talking to someone yesterday and they were like, it's not matching like I'm putting it to my jaw and it's not matching. It will never, ever, 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 ever match if you are stopping right here. Hate to break it to you. You always got to pull down. You don't have to cover your whole neck like perfectly with makeup, but you got to pull down a little bit to blend all of that out. And that's another reason that I love setting with the pressed powder because that also helps with that. So we're going to bounce this off all over just like this been using your primer method and wow it's been bomb my foundation has never looked so good yes I love that I love that review oops 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 I uh, love the wedding set could you show the camera oh my ring thank you I know Ryan did so good uh, do you wait for your setting spray to dry yes absolutely so you want to spray your setting spray down I'm sorry, you wanna spray your setting spray all over your face and then wait for it to be fully, fully dry. Then go in with your primer and then apply that like a dime size amount all over and let it sit for like three to five minutes. I'm gonna go over just where I have my little blemishes with a little more foundation. And then after you've let your primer sit for like three to five minutes, then do your setting spray again and let it fully dry. Then you're ready for makeup. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Do you do get also have them in silver? Uh, my necklace? I don't know if she has it in silver. Yes, the lip butters are so good. Is the stick creamy or tacky to spread? It's uh, it's not tacky. Um, it's more of a cream base, but I don't know even how to describe it because it's not like I've tried a cream foundation in the past and it's not like uh, it's not like dewy like a cream. I'm trying to think what it would remind me of. It's like as if you put liquid into a cream form, if that makes any sense. So it's not sticky and it's not like, uh, what am I trying to say? It's not like dewy, like gross. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's very, as soon as it touches the skin, it feels like nothing. It feels like absolute nothing on your skin, which that's what I like. I don't like to feel like I have on 10 pounds of makeup. Um, so yeah, I love this. And I like that it is kind of like a cream base, so it's full coverage. Yes, silky. Thank you, Sarah. That's the perfect word, word for it. It's silky. It's so good. Doesn't feel like anything. It's not heavy. So, so good. And it's 15% off. If taffeta is too dark, I would go down to the shade Lace. I'm always getting black under my eyes. I tried pencil liner, liquid liner. Um, I would try the liquid eyeshadow, or I'm sorry, the liquid, yeah, yeah, the liquid eyeshadows. I've done that in my tutorial, yeah, two days ago, where you line underneath and around using the liquid eyeshadow in like the shade Ornate. Uh, that's very helpful, it makes sense. Yes, you're welcome. Eye cream is 15% off and you will do that before your setting spray. So you go eye cream, setting spray, primer, setting spray, foundation. Okay, so now let's put on our concealer. Um, the makeup that I'm using is all available right here. So this is where you can buy all of the makeup I'm using. It's right there. And then everything, like I said, is 15% uh, off just until the 31st. Okay, so I'm going to apply my concealer a little differently for today for the sake of you guys. Um, because I like to, again, be like a point of reference. So I'm going to use my blending bud now and just blend this in to my little blemish area. So ignore that. Um, and then... I applied it in this way because if you have a lot of fine lines, this is the way that you are going to want to apply your concealer. And notice now that I'm going down, I still haven't gone around the fine line area, and now I'm going to go over that fine line area and up onto the eyelids. And the reason for applying this way, this is not only going to limit the amount of product that you're putting on, but it's also going to limit the amount of product that is on the actual like fine line area. 
and it's still going to cover your dark circle area. So if you experience a lot of fine lines and wrinkles, definitely, I have like a little eye thing. Um, definitely try it this way and see how you like it. Because I feel like if you've applied concealer and you're just getting frustrated that it's creasing or just looking really heavy on the under eye, I feel like that would be the way for you to apply. Uh, oh no, stay safe, Donna. I love the stick. I can't decide if the sprayer stick is my favorite. I feel you, girl. I'm that way with the uh, with all of them, really. But stick and liquid. I keep going back and forth between those. I can't decide which one's my favorite. Which again, the liquid foundation's 25% off. The stick foundation's 15%. The concealer's 15. And you guys, look how nice my skin looks. Not to toot my own horn. Even with hormonal breakout, it still is so ph phenomenal. The coverage that you get. I know, right? So good. What color concealer did you use? I used the shade Lace in the concealer today, but I also can use the shade Organza. They're extremely similar. Yeah, try that tip and let me know how you, what you think. So if yours always creases, definitely try it that way. And then make sure you have the blending buds from Unique. These are such a game changer. You get two, the large and the small when you buy them. They're 15% off and they are just a huge, huge game changer. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, spritz my dry beauty blender. This one's from like Walmart. And now I'm gonna take my Touch Behold translucent setting powder. I popped the cap off mine so I could use it in a baking technique. I just took like a butter knife and then just like pried it off. Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this product underneath my eyes and wherever I naturally crease. Now I have normally oily skin, so I rely on this product to help to keep my oil at bay. And then also it helps to minimize the appearance of blemishes and pores because it kind of tightens up those areas. So if you have more um, dry skin, you can either use the Prime to Set Powder, which looks like this. Looks like this. It's a water releasing technology. So it actually hydrates the foundation instead of drying it out, but it still sets the area. And you could use this as a primer too. Um, so you can actually like dust your face with this and then do your setting spray, primer setting spray. Is, a, is an idea to try. Okay, so now we're gonna sweep away any of this excess. Yes, I will give you the link to my necklace on Instagram because that's kind of the easiest way for me to do it. So if you don't follow me on Instagram yet, you definitely need to. My name there is Rhea Hope. And then if you click on the profile picture, my stories begin to play. So make sure to do that. And you can watch the stories as many times as you want. If you missed, like yesterday, someone's like, I wanted to donate to whatever. I did a swipe up for um, one of the Marines, his wife, um, one of the Marines that was killed. And uh, his... His aunt sent me the link to their GoFundMe. And so I was able to post that on my stories. But so that's on there too. Um, so if you go to my page, Rhea Hope, and then click on my profile picture, the stories start to play. You used to apply under eye differently, right? You would put it right under the eye. Yeah, I would put it, I would like cake it all the way on. I mean, not to lie, I still actually really like that way because I feel like it elongates my under eye. But on a day where I'm just kind of wanting like a really light coverage, and also I wanted to give you guys another idea of how to put concealer on because I know that's a really big struggle for mo most people is having a lot of those creases underneath the eye. So applying it on the opposite sides and then blending it together down before you go up is a really big game changer. Um, Monica, I don't think it matters so much on the age. I think it matters more so on, um, your skin type. So if you are more, uh, oily skin, then yes, I would use a baking technique. If you're not oily, then I would either set with just a pressed powder like this. So grab a big brush like this, and then I'm going to use the shade taffeta in my pressed powder. And then you're going to take it. And then this is what I was talking about blending down the neck. Just going down just like this makes everything look so much more blended. And then now we're gonna just pop this on all over. So this is also gonna set our makeup, but it's also gonna provide a really light, beautiful finish to our makeup. Now this pressed powder is so phenomenal. I love this pressed powder because those who say, I can't wear pressed powder, I'm 79 years old, or I have dry skin, or I have wrinkles, this pressed powder is finally one you can use. It has shea butter and vitamin E infused in it. So it is the silkiest, softest pressed powder you will ever use. And it has UV protectant in it. It is so incredibly soft and stunning on the skin. 
It's not cakey. It's not drying. You can use it all by itself for more of a light coverage. In that case, I would use the sponge, but if you are wearing makeup and you're putting this on top, I would use a big brush. Yes, that's perfect, Danielle. Exactly. Okay, so now for our contour and highlight. Contouring and highlight does not need to be intimidating, does not need to be hard or scary or take nine years. Say me in the comments if you are like weirded out, scared, unsure, don't contour. I want to see because I was that way too. When I actually first started my unique business, I actually had messaged the girl who I joined with and I was like, what's contouring? Is that something you do with your eyes? And she was like, oh boy, <laughs> we have one of those. Um, no, it's not. It's very simple. Go watch YouTube. I'm like, oh, good Lord. So I went and watched YouTube and I was like, there is no way that I can do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. And these girls look like they're like going to war. <laughs> before they blend everything in so I was like I can't no 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 I can't do that so I trial and error practice practice found a routine that worked for me so here I'm going to share it with you guys because it's that easy you're going to need two products beachfront bronzer shade sunset still available and 15% off and this brush tapered blusher brush tapered blusher brush beachfront bronzer shade sunset that's it okay so you're going to open, <laughs> you're going to take your brush, bounce it off the bronzer, and it doesn't matter where you bounce it, just bounce, bounce, bounce. Grab that, swirl into the cap. You can tap it off if you're worried. Start at the top of the ear, and you're going to work to the corner of the mouth. You're going to take this brush, and you're going to hold it horizontally. I always get horizontally and vertically confused. Horizontally, and you're going to start up here at that, and you're going to sweep very light-handedly down towards the corner of your mouth stop two finger lengths away from your mouth stop two finger lengths away from your jawline so right in that area and if you're worried you can so you don't like go too far stop let's go to the other side back and forth then stop now we're going to forehead temples of the forehead these little areas Swirl, swirl, and then swirl down. Avoid the center of the forehead, okay? Around the jawline, bottom of the ear, and you're gonna stop where you stopped where your contour. Just in this little area, just in this little area. Around the nose, Ooh. <laughs> I really threw that thing, hold on. <sighs> Sorry. We're going to squeeze the brush and run down the sides of the nose and the bottom. Now let's blend everything out. Now, instead of holding it vertically, horizontally, we're going to hold it vertically up and down. And then you're going to swirl, swirl. That's it. Besides the throwing of the brush, very, very easy. So you simply just follow the top of the ear towards the corner of the mouth. And again, beachfront bronzer, shade sunset, tapered blusher brush. Both of these are available right here on my website. Both are 15% off. That's it. And when you shop on my website, you don't even have to create an account if you don't want to. If that like weirds you out, you could check out as a guest. You can get exactly what you need. It's not like a subscription thing. Um, you can return it if you don't love it. I'm telling you, so easy. All right, I saw some questions. Um, the loose wet feeling primer powder is amazing. South Carolina is pressed is pressed better. Um, if you love the setting powder, then stick with the setting powder, but I love the pressed powder. Like love, love, love the pressed powder. Yes, definitely grab the pressed powder. I'm promising all of you guys who are talking about it, you will thank me later. It is so silky. So, so good. Okay, I think I got to all of your guys' questions, but all of you who said me Grab those two products and report back. I want to hear how easy it was for you. All right, so now for highlighting, we're going to do the blush in the shade Sisterly on top of the setting powder brush. I'm going to pop this on, like just tap this onto my highest parts of my cheekbone and work up to the hairline. And now this is going to add a really pretty, like, illuminized look to our skin. And it's also going to um, add that flush color so we don't look washed out or anything and you just pop that right on top of the um, contoured area 
Yeah, Monica, to be totally honest, that product is a little difficult to use. I think they're actually going to retire it because the formula is not that great. Totally honest moment, um, which is that cream contour thing. I actually bought it to give it another try, and I still am like, eh. Hold on, where is it? I don't even, oh, there it is. It's this guy. The Sculpting Trio. It's a cool idea, but the formula to it is just a little off. Some people love it, and that's grand. Um, but to be honest, what I just showed you is the easiest thing ever. Bronzer in sunset, tapered blusher brush. We use the shade Sisterly in the blush. And now we're going to use our highlight, which is the Touch of the Mode Luminizer in the shade Pearly on top of a highlight brush. And then you pop this on the bridge and tip of the nose and then right above the blush. So it is, it's going to go highlight, blush, contour. And it's okay if things overlap. If anything, that just makes everything look a little bit more blended and soft. I've seen folks who use the setting powder before and after pressed powder. I'm confused as to what you should do. So everyone's different on how they like to apply. And also it kind of depends on people's skin types. I think that you don't need to use it twice. Um, I would personally just use it over your concealer and then even everything out with the pressed powder like we did today. Yes. Absolutely. The contour and the shade Chenille with the stick foundation is incredible and I love how creamy it is. I have a ton of tutorials doing that actually because um, it is really soft. So maybe I'll do that in a next live. Um, but definitely grab those two products. Let me know what you guys think. All right, for brows, we're going to do the brow pencil, the brow sculpting pencil in the shade brown, and this is also 15% off, and this was brand spanking new, so perfect time to grab it. Now, this is really an awesome product because one, you don't need a lot of it to get really nice looking eyebrows, and it's also kind of a cream base pencil, which is really unique. Hmm, unique, get it. Um, but it, it has the vitamin E, argan oil, and curatine that the lash serum has. So it's actually really, really healing and hydrating for your eyebrows. So if you have really sparse eyebrows, this is a really good product to start using to help your brow hair to grow while you're wearing it, which is kind of a cool concept. And then I love the little, uh, little brush on the other end to just like blend. Blend, blend, blend that out. And it lays down the brow hair really, really nicely. Okay, and then the other side. Something to keep in mind though is use a very light hand because a little goes a long way with this guy. And if you're unsure what color you are, say you want to try the bronzer, say you want to try the concealer, the eyebrow pencil, whatever you have seen me use today, comment color match down below and I will private message you. And also make sure that you're shopping on my website, which again is right here, pinned in the comments. I'm going to write it again for you guys. And that's where you can buy all of the makeup I'm using. All right. And then let's blend, blend, blend. No, my eyebrows are not tattooed at all. Do you like this pencil better than the old one? That is a hard question because I love the old one. Um, I think this one is really cool because it's actually laying the brow hair down. So you don't need like a brow gel or anything and it also is going to last you better so it's better for the the wallet because it's going to last like triple if not quadruple the amount of time that the old one did i saw another question i wanted to answer what can i do to get rid of blemishes um skincare i love the exfoliating face mask for myself when i'm having my blemishes and then also i really love the cleanser it has um, some really good boosters in it, which it's kind of like a Jamba Juice. You get to add in other things to it. Um, message me and I will give you a whole like acne skincare regimen. And if that's you too, if you're like, I need that, go ahead and comment skincare acne and I'll give you what I use when I'm having like a hormonal breakout. I had a really bad one, as you saw, um, when we went to Mexico. I didn't bring my skincare stuff because they always take it at the like check-in or whatever. And my skin always like freaks out with the sun and the SPF and then not using my skincare. And I knew that, but we are there longer than we normally are. And I came home to like hell <laughs> on my face. So I have like the 
most incredible regimen of what you should do if you have a bad breakout or if you just get like really hormonal bad breakouts. Um, comment skincare acne and I'll give you guys my regimen. All right, time for this cut crease. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Let's do our lips first. <laughs> All right, we're gonna line our lips. And it's just like a Kylie Jenner lip liner. All right, and I'm gonna fill in. Lip liner on. Now I'm gonna go in with my lipstick in the shade Minted, which is one of my favorites, like a pastel. Okay, and then blend out. Okay. Okay, minted. Ooh, that is scary. I don't hang out down there, thankfully. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go in with the lip gloss in the shade Lux. And this is like the kicker. You know, time for, for nude lip colors. I do, but I ain't saying. <laughs> Because I can't. I'm legally bound. <laughs> but you do want to make sure that you have on your notifications. Because when things launch, your girl usually knows first. And how to turn on your notifications is go to my page, Raya Hope, here on um, Facebook. And then also on my Instagram. And click the little bell. You're gonna see a little bell, click the bell, and then you're gonna turn on notifications. Oh gosh, Athena, that's so scary. Stay safe. Um, would your skincare regimen be okay for an 18 year old? Absolutely, yes, thousand percent. And like, I wish I started at that age, because good habits. Okay, so now let's do this cut crease. Okay, so we're gonna go in first with yeah, let's do our crease first. Okay, we're gonna go in first with the fluffy crease brush and we're gonna grab the pressed eyeshadow in the shade Astute. This is one of my favorites because it's just like a good nude and it looks good on any eye look. So we're gonna start first with this and I'm gonna pop this into the crease. So top of here. Barb, that is, that is Facebook's fault. <laughs> Facebook and Instagram are no help when it comes to notification stuff. So um, they have been known to like unfollow people and also turning off notifications. So make sure every once in a while that you head to my page, you search Rhea Hope here on Facebook and Instagram and you like and comment on like five to 10 posts. It'll retell Facebook like, hey, I'm still interested. I still wanna see this page. And then also make sure you check your settings, um, like your little bell, you click on it. So make sure to check that out um, because, like I said, it's been known to unfollow and undo things like that, which is frustrating. All right, so now we're going to take the shade Marvelous, which is a darker brown, and I'm going to very light-handedly start in this outside corner and then just kind of dust this through very light-handedly because I don't want it to look super dark, but I do want to create like a little bit of depth. Okay. Now I'm going to grab my liner brush and I'm going to do that same idea underneath with the eyeshadow line underneath. I forgot my eyeliner, so I'll have to do that too. I love the look. Yes, take care of your skin. I'm priming many years in the sun. Yes. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. Um, the brush that I was just using is called the Fluffy Crease Brush. This brush is called an angled brush. I don't think that Unique sells this one anymore, 
I have to look on the website, but any kind of angled brush would do. And you can find these type of brushes like anywhere. It just has a little angle to it. Okay. I went a little harsh with that color. So let's blend, blend. Okay. So we kind of worked backwards. So we did the crease and the under eye. Let me do my eyeliner really fast. get the notification I feel like I'm not always getting it. it might be because I've been traveling oh yeah maybe but yeah definitely make sure to um you go to my page Rhea Hope and then you click on the little bell to turn on the notifications and that goes for Instagram as well Instagram and Facebook are linked so make sure that you do both and then like I said make sure that you go to my page Rhea Hope here on Facebook and Instagram like and comment on the last like five to ten posts it will kind of like reset and make sure that um, it'll like basically tell Instagram and Facebook like, hey, I wanna see this page. All right, so now that we've kind of worked our way backwards, now let's do the cut crease part. So I'm gonna go in first with the Splurge Cream Shadow in the shade Jubilant. I'm gonna use my finger at first. Um, so this, like I said in my last tutorial that I used this with, this is a really good color all by itself, but it's also a really good base. And I'm going to show you how to use it as a base today. So I'm going to use this with my finger first just to get it on there really well. And then I'm going to use my cream shadow brush to fine tune it, meaning like, so I can get in these harder to reach spots. And... This is the cut crease part. So instead of blending, you just don't blend. So you're just going to follow your eyeball right into the crease, just like that. Okay, and then before this like sets, I'm gonna go in with the shade Timid. I'm gonna use another crease brush, I think. That one's dirty. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab the shade Timid, which is just a matte champagne. And I'm gonna go over the shade Jubilant with this. And I wanna move kind of, not quickly, but before it really settles. And not only does this make it more pigmented, but it also helps to prevent any creasing, any movement for oily eyelids. And then we're just like tapping this on. Okay. That's pretty good. Angry faces. I don't know. I must have missed something too. <laughs> okay, so now let's do the other side. So Jubilant Splurge Cream Shadow. And again, this is a really good shade all by itself. It's more of like a mauve pink. And then the crease brush. And then just tap, tap, tap. Okay. Now that we have that on there, I want to make this look a little bit smoother. Okay. And now, other brush, and we're going to grab Timid. It's okay. Let them troll. They're just boosting our algorithm, so it's okay. And half the time, it's usually like a little kid that has like their mom's phone. So it's totally fine. <laughs> Could be my kid. Who knows? <laughs> All right. So now we're just tapping this product on. And again, this is the shade Timid. This is another really good one to have. Because it's just like a really nice neutral. I'm gonna try something else too. I'm gonna grab the fluffy crease brush. Yes, absolutely. I'll go ahead and link this full look in the comments, which I always link my looks right here. If you wanna check that little area out. Okay, so that color's on. So now let's just fine tune our 
crease look. That's why cut creases are so difficult because it's like any type of movement. All right, pretty good. Uh, let's do our liner. The mauve color is so pretty. The splurge cream shadow in the shade jubilant. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the dip and draw eyeliner in the shade perfect. And like I had mentioned, everything I've used so far is all 15% off. Let's do the other side. Would giggly or business like in the liquid shadow work instead of the splurge cream? No, only because the liquid eyeshadows dry too fast and the splurge cream is more of a is cream based, so it kind of holds on differently to pressed eyeshadows. So I don't think it would work the same. And also those colors are more of a metallic versus uh, the jubilant shade is a matte color. Thank you guys so much. I use a liquid eyeshadow for lipstick. Mm, that's cool. A good makeup remover. I use the cleansing balm and the uh, shine cloth. I love those. All right, so now our eyeshadow is done. So now let's go ahead and go in with our setting spray. Which this is a super important step. Not only does it add moisture into our foundation, but it actually also helps to prevent any transferring. I like to do this step before I do any mascara because it helps to prevent transferring of that also. Um, but like I had said, if you guys need any help picking out your products, if you want to try any of these um, spurge cream shadows or foundation, concealer, anything, just make sure to uh, comment color match down below in the comments and I'll private message you. But let me know if I could be of any help. Definitely make sure to take advantage of the sale. Like I said, the whole website is 15% off and you'll see that discount in your shopping cart. So once you add things to your cart and you go to check out, you'll see that option there. Make sure, make sure, make sure, make sure that you see my name and or my photo before you check out. That's how you know you're shopping on my website. So you can either go to my website two different places. You can either go right here which is uniqueproducts.com forward slash Rhea Coleman, or you can go to my website, which is rayahope.com. So go to rayahope.com and then you're gonna click on shop beauty or you click on beauty, whichever it takes you to the same spot. So right here. Okay. And then now that was the lash primer. So now we're gonna go in with the twisted mascara. And this is the mascara that has the argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it. If you are wanting your lashes to look so long, you need this one. It is so good. Yes, Marissa, I would be so happy to help you. So just uh, message me here on Facebook. All right, so base lash all the way up. And look at that, you guys. Isn't that great? And this is so buildable, meaning you can add as many coats as you want to this. side and then I also wanted to mention that I am also on TikTok and YouTube and Pinterest so if you're on any of those platforms make sure you follow me there too my name on Pinterest is Rhea Hope 29 my name on YouTube is Rhea Hope my name on TikTok is Rhea Hope but the O is a zero in hope and my name on Instagram is Rhea Hope you pretty much can find me anywhere searching that and then my website is rayahope.com. A little color on my face. I think I need you to do it again. Yeah, sure, no problem. If you ever, um, this especially goes out to everybody. If you have gotten tan or lost your tan, usually what I do is I'll just go up or down in a color in my pressed powder. And that typically is like enough to do the trick. And I also make sure to stock up. And I always do this also. I stock up while everything's on sale. So I know my color right now in my obviously all the all the foundations and things so i will grab my winter shades my summer shades while everything's in in stock and on sale because everything is 15 percent off or if you have like a favorite eyeshadow or favorite lipstick grab another one while it's on sale um 
have a little stockpile for yourself. But that was a whole makeup look. I love the way it turned out. The cut crease actually wasn't that difficult. Not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Uh, so let me know if you guys need any help picking out your products. Comment color match down below and I'll private message you. And make sure you're shopping right here. Like I said, everything has a love it guarantee. If you need any help, comment color match down below. Um, yes, the, con the concealer with the caffeine is under concealer on my website. The color press powder I did was the shade Taffeta. Thank you. Honestly, you have to get the Lash Primer. Lash Serum, which is the Esteem Lash Serum. I use it every night before bed. I swear that helps grow your lashes like weeds. It's amazing. So make sure to follow me over on TikTok. My name is Rhea Hope, which the O is a zero. I post hair and makeup tutorials there. I always upload all of my makeup and hair tutorials and fashion try-ons to YouTube. I also have my like home tour there too. So make sure you follow me on YouTube by searching Raya Hope. Um, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter at the bottom of my website. And I think that's it. So I love you guys. I'll see you soon. I will probably be live tomorrow at some point. And I hope you guys all have a good Saturday. All right, guys. Bye.